Hey, all you yarny friends, it's me, Dora, that yarny zebra. Dora Beth. Some people know you, me by Dora. Some people know me by Dora Beth. And many people know me by my yarn. All of that yarn. Woo! And there's yarn behind me. That yarn, too. I just realized that I did not do a live today or a vlog. So, this is what you get. Five minutes, maybe four, three, two. Hey, I want to talk to you a little bit tonight about um, some of the things that we want in life. Besides good health, you know, where I stand in that area, um, I am doing better than I was, but I'm not as good health-wise as I want to be. My hair is growing. That's a positive. And yeah, it's rained here all day. I'm chilling, trying to stay warm. My silly little puppy doodah. He didn't even come up here with me. He's downstairs on the couch all snuggled up. Because when I came up here, I left lights on. So he does not know that it's almost bedtime. And yes, I have on the hat because I have, uh, I've had a bad hair day. Yeah. I've had a bad joint pain day, actually. So, oh, it's rained for far too long. It's supposed to rain all week. And I like that. Not exactly happy about that, but just wanted to come on and say a lot of times we are seeking acceptance. And, oh, he's here. Come here, sugar, sugar. We're going to accept the fact that Lucky is not wearing a sweater tonight. Because it's been raining all day. And he went out there and got soaking wet. Because all he did was... I'm going to say it. Be, okay, say hi. Say hello. <laughs> all he did out there today when I walked him... Was piddle fart in the rain. I told on you. <laughs> Literally. Oops. We're bumping the... We're bumping the tripod stuff. All he did was just walk around and, okay, I'm telling on you and you just want to love and so I know. He just did his little walk around and did not do his duty until he was soaking wet. But I had my golf umbrella out there and I didn't get wet. I had on my rain boots my raincoat and okay okay you want me to quit talking about it okay sorry so I think that do you hear him that's probably him whining because he wants his sweater back <laughs> he wants his sweater back on so, since I do make Lucky sweaters, he's got several in reserve. So, I'm going to have to go and put his sweater on him. And we'll go look and see if it's raining. He does have a rain jacket that I made him. It's zebra. And it's reflective. So, people can see him when they're driving their cars at night. He's spoiled. He's a little spoiled Bowie. Yes, he is. So, we're almost at five minutes. And we were talking about acceptance. Um, a lot of us are seeking acceptance. We want people to accept us the way we are with our illnesses, with our rare diseases, with our desire to uh, have a yarn stash. People don't understand it. They are like, why do you want to... Excuse us, Lucky, you're killing me. 
Okay, right here. Sorry. <laughs> why why do you need more yarn? Don't you think you have enough? Well, we make stuff with this yarn. So we have to replenish. Um, we have to replenish our yarn. Now, I've been on a yarn ban, but I have uh, wonderful friends who have bought yarn for me while I've been banning yarn buying on my own. So, my address is below if you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't send me any yarn. Unless I win some in a giveaway, then I'll take it. Yes, I will. So, back to acceptance. This is, this is the, the year of 2020 vision and acceptance. And uh, out of years of not knowing what was going on with my body and why I was so ill all the time, it was finally vindicating for a doctor to say, hmm, Miss, Miss Dora, there's really some health issues that you're going through. Really? Thanks. Let's find out what they are and why. So, yes. We want our voice to be heard. We want our doctors to listen to us and test us and not just push us under the proverbial um, bus of, it's just allergies. Just deal with it. You'll be okay. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm like, what am I doing? Coming to you every week because I'm still sick? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I'm not yelling at anybody. No, I'm not. I'm just... I'm just trying to figure out where your sweater is so we can put it on you. Because we had to wash the other one. So, we are wanting acceptance. And um, I have learned that... My Jesus takes me just the way I am. He says, come just like you are, and I will wrap you in my arms and hold you to myself, and I will accept you for who you are. Yeah. I accepted Lucky for who he was, that poor little, poor little rescued puppy doggy that had fleas on his fleas and was tied outside and was matted with mangy, not mangy hair, matted with a mess of hair. This little tiny love muffin outside tied to a tree stump and a chain. Come on. Inappropriate. I rescued the sweetness and he's my sweet love. So, he is crazy over me because I rescued him. And you know what? God wants you to be crazy over him because he's the one that's going to accept you the way you are. And once you realize that, there's no reason why you shouldn't turn to him and let him do what he needs to do to show you his love and things that you are dealing with that um, may not be the best choices in your life um, God will fix all of those because his love is so wonderful and abounding and once you experience his love there's no turning back so there we go it's the next day already and I still need to post this because what is today February the 10th 2020 so that would be 
day 41 of 365 in the year of 2020. Love you all. Good night. Good night from Lucky. Oh my goodness, here, babe. Mm -mm. You guys do know that I'm going to have to put on my coat and boots and walk him, right? So, this Yarny Zebra is signing out. Sending everybody, yeah, zebra kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Jesus loves you. You know who you are. And he loves me, and we are his very favorite. We are his very, very favorite. Indeed. Have a good night.